Hey, this is Eric with Web App Reviews, where we highlight the best Chrome web apps and extensions for education. Today, we're taking a look at a web app called Wii Video for Google Drive. Now, you can find this as usual in the Chrome Web Store. Just search for Wii Video, spelled W-E Video, or you can use the shortened URL tiny.cc slash Wii Video, and that'll get you right here to the spot where you can install this web app. Now, Wii Video is a web app that lets you do digital video editing right inside of your web browser. You can use it for really simple things just like drag and drop videos or really sophisticated projects with multiple tracks and voiceover narration, transitions, lower thirds, and most of the tricks that you would expect to find in normal desktop video editing programs. Now, for many years, I've been using Camtasia Studio for my video editing, editing, which is actually what I'm using for the video you're watching right now. Camtasia is a very powerful commercial desktop video editing program. And based on my experience with that, I'm actually very impressed by what you can do with Wii Video for free and completely in the cloud. Let's take a look at how Wii Video works. So I've already got this installed, so I'm going to pop over to my new tab where you'll see all of my apps. And there's Wii Video. We'll go ahead and give that a click to launch that program as normal. Now this brings you to the main Wii Video screen where you can either create a new project or open an existing project. I'll go ahead and open, it, open up uh, Test 2 here. All right, now once that gets opened up, we want to talk about what you will do to create a video with the Wii Video program. And it's basically three steps. You're going to add content, you're going to edit your video, and then you're going to publish your video. So let's first chat a little bit about adding content. Now with the free version of Wii Video, you can upload um, up to five gigabytes of audio, video, and pictures uh, with the free account. And there's uh, six different ways that you can put that content in. So let's take a look at those real quick. One is simply uploading media. If I click on the upload button there, I can click on browse and then I can upload images and sounds and videos of pretty much any format. A second way to get content into Wii Video is to import stuff you've already got on the web. So it integrates with Drive, Instagram, Flickr, Facebook, Dropbox, Picasa, and Box. So that works great. Let's pop back over here. Another way that you can get content into here is you can record live right from Wii Video if you've got a webcam and a microphone. So I just click on the record button and hey, there I am. Very good. And it works just fine. Um, a fourth way uh, to use content is to use the content that's provided with Wii Video. They actually provide um, a lot of backgrounds, whether they're solid or animated little video backgrounds, so you can use their own that they've put in there, as well as audio. There's lots of different audio tracks, action, party, drama, atmosphere, and so on. So lots of different ways there as well. Uh, another way to get content into Wii Video is if somebody else has shared it with you. This can be collaborative, so there's a shared option here that um, if somebody has shared content with you, you can have access to theirs. And then the sixth and final way to get content into Wii Video is there is an Android app that you can use on your Android phone or your Android tablet and any images or video you take with that can automatically be synced up to your Wii Video account. So loads and loads and loads of great ways to get content into your video project. So let's say we've got some content in there now and actually I do. I've got a little video there and it looks like a picture that I threw up there earlier. So we do have some content in here. Now we're ready to move to step two which is editing your video. So how do you do that? Well, basically, it's just drag and drop. Take things from the top and drag them down to the bottom. The thing you have to decide is which of the different editing modes you want to use. And that really depends upon how sophisticated you want to get. Now, the very first most basic editing mode is just called Storyboard. And that's what you see what you have here right now. So basically, I can just grab a video, drag it down, let go of it, and it drops it in there. I can grab a picture drag it, drop it, 
and it goes in there and I can grab some audio, grab it, drop that down there. And so I could build this video very easily. So not a whole lot of options, but really very simple to do. Grab your videos, grab your pictures, grab your audio. You can switch over to this theme tab where you can pick different themes and then we'll add some special effects and things like that to give it a little bit more of, of an interesting feel. So that's the basic storyboard mode. However, there are two other modes where you can get a lot more sophisticated if you um, are more experienced with video editing. So I I can pop over to my settings here in the top right hand corner and I can switch from storyboard mode to timeline mode. So let's do that and you'll see once I go into timeline mode I get a lot more options than I had before. At this point the things that I pick up are transitions so now I can do standard pat patterns and effects of transitions between clips and then I also get a section called graphics and this allows me to put on text so whether it's speech bubbles or titles or lower thirds but it also has frames it has animations it has special effects lots of really neat things come from that as well another thing that you get in timeline mode is voice over narration and so I do get this extra track at the bottom here where I can record my own narration along with the video then there is one other mode of editing. So let's go back up to the account settings in the top right, and that's the advanced timeline mode. We'll switch over to that mode now. It's very, very similar to what you saw before with the biggest difference being that I can come here and click on this option and I can add more tracks. So instead of just having an audio track and a voiceover track and two video tracks, I can add as many tracks as I want to here and have a very, very sophisticated multi-track uh, project. Okay. Well, I did work on one earlier, so let's pop over to there. And so here's kind of a quick example of what you might end up with where I've got lots of different things. I've got a title, I've got a little video intro, I've got some audio music playing, I've got some transitions in between my clips, then I've got my actual video clip with a lower third on it, then I've got a picture I threw in with uh, my son saying, awesome, thrown onto that as well. And so you could very easily create um, a very sophisticated video if you wanted to do that. So that's step two. So we uploaded our content, we edited our video. What's left to do? Step three, publish your video. And so in the top menu bar, you'll see an option where I can click on publish. And that brings me to my final step where I get to actually export the video. And so pretty much you choose whether or not you want it to be private or public. And then you choose where you want to publish this to. And uh, you can link WeVideo to lots of other different accounts. Um, I'll show you where that's at. If I pop over to my account page here, you'll see that under my account tab, I can connect more accounts. And so I can connect WeVideo to Dropbox and Vimeo and YouTube and lots of other things like that. Well, in this case, um, I've got it connected to WeVideo and Google Drive and YouTube, and I could export it to all three of those. Now, there is again a limit in the free version, just like there was only five gigabytes of storage of your content. There's also a limit into how, mon how many minutes you can export during the month. And what you do is you get 15 minutes of exported video. So if I look over here on the right hand side, I'll see that this completed video would use up 29 seconds out of my 15 minutes for that month. Uh, and then of course each month that starts over again, you get 15 more minutes that you can export each month. Now, of course, in addition to the free version, there are pay options. We'll go ahead and pop over and I'll show you what those are. In the education category, you do have the free version, like I said, 15 minutes of export and 5 gigs of storage, but you can pay differing amounts to increase how much you can export each month and how much storage you get as well. But even with all that said and done, WeVideo is a very, very great option for students, even with the limitations of a free account for a lot of reasons. Um, for example, it can be used by beginners to quickly make a simple but great looking video or it can be used by more experienced folks who want all the bells and whistles of video editing. And um, of course, because it's cloud-based, users can access and work on their videos from anywhere. And that's really something that's not often very possible with most desktop video editing programs. You always have to go back to that same computer you were working at where all of your stuff is saved. Not so with WeVideo.
And better yet, the we in we video does mean that students can collaborate on video projects and work together. And best of all, it's free, which is always great. Well, hopefully that encourages you to try out we video the next time you need to do a video project and to learn about all sorts of other great Chrome web apps and extensions, be sure to visit web app reviews at webappreviews.org where you can see all of our reviews as well as submit your favorite apps and extensions. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.